Okay, y'all, today we are talking about 88 Energy, or uh, which is uh, on the stock market as E-E-E-N-F, F is for foreign. Um, you guys, so the shorting activity has been pretty minimal on the stock, uh, usually in the you know low single digits, but sometimes it spikes for a day or two. But uh, so, you know, the counterfeiting in the stock is uh, pretty minimal. Uh, now, the stock has been hovering around like two to two to five cents for a little while, uh, but this has been trading at up to eight cents back up in April. So uh, right now it, it's it's uh, very inexpensive comparatively. You know, it's not you know and you know plus where it's going, you know it seems to be pretty positive. You know because look at this. Now they sold tax credits of eighteen million to allow the full repayment of their debt. And plus, which, you know, which wasn't much because they were sitting on $14 million in cash. You guys, uh, so that's really good news. You know, I, I found this in, this website, which is pretty good. I'm going to leave it in the show notes. It has a lot of uh, some of this information, but also, you know, if you just go to 88energy.com, a lot of that stuff is here. Now, um, now a lot of you know, I, you know, they've developed Project Peregrine, which covers, you know, four main wells spread out over 440 net acres of land in the Alaska North Slope. You know, this is Merlin 1, Merlin 2, Harrier, and Harrier Deep. You know, the Merlin Slope has proven to be very rich in oil. So, now their newest estimate is uh, 1.6 billion barrels in the Merlin 1 well. This is up from, you know, up from, you know, 900 million earlier this year. And uh, so that, that's a significant increase. And considering there's been, you know, very little reaction in the stock, I mean, this is pretty surprising. Um, and, you know, so anyway, uh, so the well is, they are working on now is Merlin One, which confirmed the presence of light oil, which is used in cars, trucks, motorcycles, you know, jet fuel, et cetera, et cetera. Now they have to do an actual appraisal, which they're scheduling for like a Q1 in 2022. Then, you know, after that appraisal is done, then they can start drilling. Now, they probably won't drill it themselves. They'll look for a partner, you know, probably a sale of the rights to that well. And then, you know, and then keep going after the, the next three sites. Now, what is interesting is that the, you know, they are working on exploration of Merlin 2 during Q1 of 2022. So they have identified already three potential exploratory drill sites. So look for, you know, good news because again, the North Slope is full of oil and, you know, this is one of the lowest points that you're going to find the company, the stock anyway. Now, and, you know, also for Merlin One, the company only needs to verify how much oil is in the ground. Now, what most, you know, investors want is a buyout to, to the rights of Merlin One. And once, you know, they, you know, th this is confirmed, you know, 88 Energy will look likely to look for a seat to the, the sale of the rights to that site. So you guys, <clears throat> very good, uh, you know, very interesting uh, information for the stock and, you know, it, it, just good news all around. The material provided herein is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute an offer to... Uh, buy or sell or solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any uh, securities. This information should be relied upon for purpose of this information should not be relied upon for the purpose of investing in any security.